so guys i'm not sure if you remember a few probably last week or a few days ago a few vlogs ago <laughs> i was talking about some people who were coming down to dominica to distribute purification containers well they're here today we were chilling last night and so forth and so forth they have the stuff here in dominica so i am actually going to show you guys what the container is what it can do and they're going to be distributing it um in a number of areas hey what's up you good you good Oh, so you came down when you came down? I came down on Saturday. Saturday, okay, okay, okay. Mm. I gotta tell you, man, we all love you. Oh, I appreciate that. Thank you so much. <laughs> well, thanks a lot. I mm. used to remember when you were bathing in the river. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You could tell us a lot. All of us have been staying. Mm. Half understanding what was going on on the ground. We weren't getting any information, and you really. I just have to do what I can do, you know? You did a so, great job. Yeah. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I'm so happy to be here, but before mm -hmm. you guys come back, mm -hmm. my name is Anand, I'm from Rhode Island, I'm here for a medical mission with your Caribbean nation, mm -hmm. and I'm just giving some props to Mr. Lick right here, <laughs> um, we're going over to Benz and Nam Solda and Nam Dime today to do some mobile clinics, mm -hmm. so I just wanted to thank you for really supporting our community and helping those in the diaspora, you know, to know what was going on on the ground here, it was mm -hmm. very important, and it was hard getting information, we didn't get it was so hard, we were all scared for our family, mm. but you gave us a lot of comfort in what was going on. And, um, so we just want to thank you. Oh, okay. It's nice to see you. I'm like, I didn't know what you looked like. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah. How are, you, how are you people? Everything's cool? Um, just trying to cope with everything and see how things work. Let me come and pick up the Yeah, okay. <laughs> Man, I'm just happy to assist, you know. Like I tell you, they're actually right there. Yeah. And, um, you know... We're just gonna demonstrate and show you guys how the containers work and they're pretty easy when I saw how to do you just put the water in there, you pump it and then you just turn it and open the thing and that's it. He told me that even septic water could be used and then drank afterwards because the filter used is some type of microscopic, you know, designing thing and whatever. So it's kind of interesting to really see, you know. So it is what it is. Hi! <laughs> Hi. It's nice to see you, man, nice. in the flesh. Look at you. <laughs> Look at yeah. that. That's so nice. Oh, man. So did you finish eating all of the uh, pasta? <laughs> oh, definitely. You got to You got it, man. Pasta and Vienna. Ding, man, ding, 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 I didn't know Vienna sausage, which sausage was so salty. Mm. Yeah, it is here. Jesus. <laughs> all the hypertension we have here. We can't have any Vienna sausage. <laughs> but the thing is, we have water, so as long as you drink water. And you should be okay. Yeah. These guys, I mean, it's almost sterile. Mm -hmm. The water is so clean. You know, mm -hmm. you can use it to wash wounds and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So the nurses are very excited about that. Whoop. Those guys are great. And they're just people who saw something happening and decided to make mm -hmm. a difference, you know? Mm -hmm. Like real people on the ground. It's great. Yeah. But anyway, let me take a selfie. <laughs> My brother's going to be so excited. See you. Guess who I found? <laughs> Miss Leaks. And look, I have to show the I have to show the video. <laughs> they said that you always have the camera, and I'm mm. like, nah, you don't have the camera. Uh, well, not necessarily the camera, but I always have a camera with you at yeah, all times. With my if, whether my phone or this or something else, you always gotta you know record something. Where are you editing all the stuff now? At home. Oh, but my area in. has, well, just one area has electricity. Okay. So I, I edited that. there, yeah. Alright, because like we're, we're still without here. We have mm, water, yeah. which is a godsend. Sure. Yeah, definitely. Some places still don't have uh, so, water. Yeah, some people were even saying they rather have water than electricity. Big so, time, definitely. And then water came, so it was kind of a good thing. Yeah, all but the But then, outside. you know, bit, bits and pieces of electricity come in different places. Picard last night had electricity. Really? Yeah, they had reggae nights up there. I think I went up there, you know, mm. at um, Tulips. Yeah. Yeah, I was there. Yeah, so at that's where it was. Yeah, it was mm. my cousin, Nurse Vanessa from Benz. It was her birthday yesterday. Mm. So, so you guys went to Lime there? Yeah, just okay. a little bit. I'll tell her happy birthday. I will. I will tell her. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's nice to see mm. a lot of things moving, you know. Mm -hmm. um, but a lot of bureaucracy too. Yeah. Mm. Oh, boy, they even talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> I like, never about thought that. that's how it was, but mm. you know, we're still pushing through. Just do what you gotta do and then, you know, yeah. do the rest. 
for all the other people. Thanks Thank so much for watching the vlogs. And, yeah. You know, share, keep it locked one time. I That's right. Your, your notification squad. Oh yeah. Oh, okay, Definitely. cool. Notice <laughs> on the dock. <laughs> right now we are gonna demonstrate it, and we have one of those who brought it down here. His name is Kim. He's from Grenada. Doesn't have a Grenadian accent, but <laughs> he's from Grenada, <laughs> and he will tell you about it. So here he is. Okay. Good morning, guys. Um, what we got here is. A water purification unit just looks like a standard jerry can to you it's actually very very simple but very very high tech what makes it remarkable is that you can take basically any water um, out of a stream or a river it could have dead animals in it all sorts of things this end here is a filter which goes down to 5 mn this is the about the finest filter you can get it's about the same mm. filtration as your skin um, and what this means is that instead of like most purification units, they take out worms and bacteria, this takes out uh, worms, amoeba, bacteria, and it takes out the viruses. So this is a very, very special piece of kit. Um, it's been recognized by the um, World Health Organization and what have you. Um, now each one of these, uh, you can refill it, obviously. You fill it on this side here which is where the pump is, I'll show you that in a moment. Um, each one of these will produce between two and a half and three thousand gallons of absolutely sterile water. This is water that you could give to a newborn baby. If you only use it for drinking water, cleaning your teeth, um, mixing baby formula and so forth, three thousand gallons is an enormous amount of water if you think that most human beings don't actually drink more than about a gallon a day so this could actually keep one man one woman in in sterile water for 10 years having said that they recommend that the filter under here is changed once every three years the most important thing um, when they come new they're obviously empty they're dry um, the filter has a water soluble sealant on the outside of it. Um, the first batch of water you put through dissolves that sealant and the filter becomes operational. If you leave it empty after that, the filter will dry out and because it is so micro microscopic, if it dries out, the, the holes in the filter seal up and it won't work. So the important thing is, is to always leave water in it. For example, you may find that your tap water is perfectly good to drink in a, in a couple of weeks or a month's time. What you can do then is just fill it up with water, put it underneath your house, and in a year's time, it'll be good to use again, if God forbid anything like this happens next year. Hurricanes are beyond our control, and preparation for hurricane is far better than recovery. I'm gonna show you how it works now. This is the pump side. You can take this one off, like this. This is the filter and the tap side. You do not undo this one here until you need to change the filter. So don't use that one. I'll show you the tap in a moment. So the first thing you do, fill it up with water, half full, three quarters. Um, you can use water out of a stream. Uh, you can use water out of a well. Uh, you can use it out of a, a gully. Um, try not to get soap in it and stuff. If people are doing their laundry, collect the water from above the laundry. It doesn't work with salt water, and it's best to avoid any heavy, heavy chemical contamination like gasoline, diesel, stuff like that. I'm gonna open the tap. This is small one here, very simple. It's got an arrow on it, shows you the way to open it. And this is a brand new one. And what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna pump up some pressure. I don't know if uh, Mr. Licks wants to ask any questions or, because this would get quite boring watching a man pumping a pump. <laughs> So where, okay, so where do they normally use things like these? They were designed um, for Africa and Indonesia mm. where there's big problems with the sewerage level um, being above the, the water level. Mm. Um, so what happens, especially in Indonesia, you get a sewerage seepage uh, which gets down into the water table. Mm. Um, and of course then, you're basically drinking contaminated water. Because this is a brand new can, never been used before, uh, as I say, this filter in here has a water-soluble sealant on it. The first time you use it, it, um, it breaks down that sealant. Mm. So normally, unless you're literally dying of thirst, mm. uh, it's, we open that up and we're gonna run off about a liter of water. That's because the first water that comes through 
mm. um, would taste of the uh, the sealant on the filter. Wouldn't do any harm, but it doesn't taste great, you know? Mm. So about a litre? I mean, you could let off two or three litres, as long as you've got a water supply to get mm -hmm. more water from, you know. So, so it's kind of like washing it through? Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. exactly. It's washing mm -hmm. the filter through, getting rid of the, the solvents. Mm -hmm. And it's after this that you must always keep water in it, you know. Okay, okay. Why do you always keep water in it? Because the the filter in here, in the holes are so small. I mean, it's like the holes in your skin, basically, mm. your sweat comes through. If it dries out, it molds together mm. and it will never work again. Mm. So you have to keep it moist. Oh, you have to moist. keep it, okay. Now this water I've got here is probably the most sterile water that you've ever had. Cheers. Cheers. As you can see, the water comes out very slowly. Mm. You can't make it faster than that with pressure, it won't work. Mm. The reason it's coming slowly is because it's going through such a fine filter mm. and you can't speed it up. What a lot of people do, like in Africa and places, um, they have a couple of these in the village. You've got a couple of lads that are constantly filling them and pumping them and they have a bucket underneath which mm. is constantly filling so people can come along with their little bottle or whatever mm. and fill up from the bucket. Mm. And that way you haven't got a queue of people waiting to it to pour out you know? yeah 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 um, so like how many of these do you have on island right now we bought 336 of mm, them mm. um we're going to be here for about another five days we're up in the north we're in portsmouth mm. um we're covering marigo um i'm not good with dominican names <laughs> we, want, we want to get up in woodford hill woodford hill mm. um carib territory mm. and the very northern part of dominica mm, as well mm. um we've already sent a load down to collie hull mm. um anyone that's watching this uh which is down there um, there's a guy called Nicholas George, he's mm. got a store of them, go and see him, tell him we want one and when we come down there we'll make sure you get one and give you a demonstration. Mm -hmm. uh, the same applies to Woodford Hill, uh, Lennox Honey Church I believe, mm -hmm. yeah. he's got a store of them, let him know uh, that you want one. When we come over there we'll make sure you get one and demonstration. Mm -hmm. And um, in Marigo it will be uh, Mr. Paris, whose mm -hmm. first name I can't recollect. One thing I would like to say is these are not designed for a small family. It mm. would be a waste. Mm. If you get one, share the water with your neighbors, mm. especially um, with uh, young women, especially unmarried women with few kids and they're mixing baby formula, things like this, because mm. it's perfect for that, yeah? Mm -hmm. um, Again, if you've got very old people, they're more susceptible to viruses and um, their immune system is not as strong as you and I. Mm -hmm. And so these are the people we're looking after. You, yourself and me, we only need a tiny drop of water a day to survive. Mm -hmm. yeah? Yeah. It shouldn't be wasted for cooking because when you're boiling, you destroy everything anyway. Mm -hmm. So just use it for drinking, brushing your teeth, young mm -hmm. children, etc., etc., etc. Any school teachers there? Um, Get, get the number off this video when Mr. Licks gets it up and get in contact with us and we'll see what we can do of getting them to you. Same goes for community centres, uh, temporary uh, medical stations, hospitals, police stations, anywhere where people are going to congregate. Big supermarkets, rum mm, shops mm. where you need water to go with the dreaded rum, etc, 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 you know. Yeah. So <laughs> please get in touch with us and bless you Dominica. We, uh, we've come here and the place has really taken a battering. We live in Grenada and it would break my heart to see mm. our country looking like this. Mm, mm. But having said that, I've found a bunch Whoop. of really strong, resilient people who have a smile on their face and they're getting on with life and I have huge respect for all of you. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Thanks very a much. Lot. Thanks a lot. All right. Yeah. Of course, there's a limited amount, so they're gonna try to give it in areas where there's a number of people. So you'll have like community centers and you know, the hurricane shelters right now. So they're gonna try to do that. And I think that's a good thing. So big up to Kim and the gang for doing that. They came out of Grenada. They were like, yo, I saw your vlogs and whatnot, whoop, 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 and you know, things happen after that so it's always good to meet people who are of that humanitarian feel and there are a number of people here to help Dominica because they saw the craziness what's going on in the vlogs and on the news and stuff and you know they're like men they gotta come down and help especially those who have families here in Dominica and I think that's a good thing that's the first time I'm doing an early vlog like this <laughs> it's like what 8 30 so yeah